Welcome back. In this video, we'll be understanding about the slicers and timeline in pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. So we already know we slicers and timelines are these are the filters which are used in the pivot tables or tables anywhere. Let's try to understand. So first thing we have this data. We have just four sheets index sheet 41 sheet 42. We'll create a pivot table insert menu bar pivot table. Click on OK. We'll put here date data type for timeline. We'll put here text data type for slices. So dates comes into rows. We'll put here, let's say, uh, maybe managers into uh, columns and we'll put here, let's say, sales into values. Now, if you observe here, the data in the vertical fashion is much higher. If you see, these are the columns. So I have to scroll on the right hand side. No human on the planet likes to scroll on the right hand side horizontally. They like to see the data vertically downwards. Therefore, there are uh, 1 million records, 1 million rows, and there are 16,000 columns. So columns are less and the rows are many. So therefore, our job is to transpose this table. We can transpose this table. And how do I do that? We can deselect the dates and we will remove the years, quarters, months, everything. And managers we can put into rows. We can put managers into rows, dates into columns. Now, if you observe on the left hand side, the table is created. This is better structure as compared to the previous one. So in the columns, the data is limited. I don't have to scroll in the vertical manner. If you see now it looks better. So data is ready. So we are talking about the slices and timeline. See, remember the first thing, this is the column headings, column labels and row labels. We do not understand what is column labels and row labels. So in the design tab, we can fill the option as show in tabular form. Now it is better. So now, what is the slices okay and what is the filters for example i want to filter the data and for the year let's say 2022 okay only one year data i want so i selected this drop down clicked on okay this is for year 2022 and you can see that's the data but the managers in the company they don't like to just go everywhere and find out the answers they want a timeline option over there so in the pivot table analyze menu bar this is the feature functionality tab over here and if you see the timeline option, we can select timeline and there is only one option, which is dates. We can select the dates, click on OK. And here, if you observe, this is the timeline. This is the timeline and we can see on the left and right hand side. So from January 2020, I can keep on moving on the right hand side. From January 2020, if I keep on moving, I will see the next year, which is coming 2021 Jan and I can keep on moving here. So why because from this drop down months is by default selected if i select the years option and you can see from 2020 to whatever 2025 i have the data remember i can select 2021 on the left hand side if you see the data is 2022 yeah so at the back end 2022 is selected 2023 2024 and so on if i want to select continuous data from 2021 to the other data i can select in a sequence so here it says from 2021 to 2024, I have the data. But at the back end, unfortunately, we don't have many years of data. It's only 2022. I can select 2025, 2020 option as well. So I've selected all the data. All right. So I can press escape and I can click on clear filter, select and delete. So here I can go back clear filter from years. Now let's do it one more time. Pivot table analyze, insert timeline. And now when we select dates, click on OK. Now, if you see, we can select the option as years from here. If I select 2024, I should be getting 2024 data. But this is the timeline. I can select 2025. I have the data. 2026, I have the data. So when do we use this timeline? When we want a continuous data. What is continuous? 2024 to 2025 to 2026. But if I want non-continuous data, for example, 2023 and 2027, I cannot select. Okay, I cannot select this data using control click. I have to select in a continuous format. So this becomes easy uh, some, for some people who want to filter the data. Here from this drop down, we can select by quarter wise, month wise, day wise. Some people like to see uh, data by quarters, Q1, Q2 of 2021, Q2, Q3 of anything. Okay, that we can pick up. And that is the timeline option. So let me click here, clear filters. The other option we have is the slices. Now, slices are used mostly for textual data. So here we go in the pivot table analyze, insert slicer. These are all the columns over there. The best part, if you see, we have dates, we have textual columns, we have the numerical columns. 
we will go for the managers and click on okay so this creates a uh, you know a slicer option here we can click on this amir khan and the data will be shown for amir khan if you select arnab goswami data is for arnab goswami here we can select the data using control click if you want multiple people we can select control click and get the data we can select bill gates bhuvan bam and so on that's the data we have and if i want to click on clear button clear filter it will go away if i want more than one slicer i can go to the pivot table analyze insert slicer i can select country and city and then click on okay so this will give me three slicers and now i can be more specific in australia what amir khan has done in london okay so i'm going more in detail in australia amir khan manager in london what are the total sales so here i can find out at the back end the value would be given which is yes so the grand total is 18506 point or whatever 6.66 uh, so i can clear filter clear filter clear filter so this way i can keep on clearing the filter this is the slicer part now moving further there are some options of slicers like you can change the cosmetic part you can change the height and width of the slicer of the boxes and the entire box that is possible so this way you can keep on changing for example city i want to make it as boxes let's say 3 so if you see it has created three rows now here it becomes easy for watching and selection rather than scrolling down if you see i have to scroll down i can see all the cities at one place so making easy would be uh, the job of slicer menu bar and i can keep on selecting here okay so i hope you have understood how do we work on the slicers and the timelines in pivot table that's all for this video